Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of me playing Street Fighter V. What is this series called? Street Fighter V Rank? I don't even know what my own videos are called. But we are back with episode... I think this is 4. That's the other thing I don't know which episode this is. Uh, which immediately starts with me getting fucked up by uh, G. So I put this fight in uh, because it's G, man. Uh, in probably the stupidest costume ever. I don't know why this guy was still wearing this. It ain't exactly seasonally appropriate, this costume. Especially not the pink one. Like, if you're gonna go with the Santa theme, like, go with the fucking red costume. Like, you could have punished that. But yeah, uh, I was getting fucked up. Mainly because people don't really play this character. And yeah, I got the crush. I decided to cash out. I don't know if I needed to, I probably it was the safe thing to do, you know, the thing about meter in this game, especially with a character like Birdie who is actually not that meter dependent, it's always better to cash out, yeah. I'm rocking V Trigger 1 by the way for this, I don't know why, sometimes, and man he was getting me with those, I don't know what I was doing, but I was screwing up for sure, uh, as I was saying, Going with V-Trigger 1 here, sometimes I go for it. I've been having fun with V-Trigger 1. You can just like really go ham with it. It feels like like you turn into an MKX character as soon as you have V-Trigger 1 active. That was so stupid. As soon as you have V-Trigger 1 active with Birdie. Uh, you just have armor for days. And this is the thing about G. This character can like really fuck you up. Uh, in the corner... This character is hell to deal with if you are someone who doesn't have good like defensive options. I mean just look at look at when Smug plays this character. It's just crazy. That is a that is a badass. That is a badass outro. And wasn't there something like this fool is supposed to be like the main villain of Street Fighter V? They said some shit like that, and I was like, damn, going with the lore this time around. Another thing I gotta mention, uh, this stage in general is badass. The Sagat stage, godlike. And the music is godlike as well, uh, including Sagat's theme. It's actually my ringtone uh, for my phone, because the Sagat theme is badass. It's that it has like the same notes, but it's a little bit more energetic. To quote Smug, acting like you won't get command grabbed. And acting like I won't drop the combo, which I did. I think this guy could have been like more aggressive, but he wasn't. I don't know. I don't play G. I've tried him once and he's okay. But man, that really shuts you down. There's like nothing gets through it. It has like a huge, huge hitbox. So you... I didn't, frankly, I didn't know that you cannot bullhorn through it, but you get, it's weird because you get hit by the, like, tail end of the projectile. So yeah, it's weird, but ended up taking it with a hella random, but functional bullhorn with V-Trigger. Is that bullhorn? I always get them confused. No, bullhorn is the hold the button one. Anyways, just pushing, pushing him into the corner, poking. That's kind of what you do with Birdie. Uh, gotta use that heavy punch. That heavy punch is such a godlike button. It's unbelievable. I swear it has like dalsim range. And man, like looking back at this footage, I really gotta implement the crouching heavy punch. Acting like he won't get command grabbed. The crouching heavy punch into my gameplay. Uh, I was watching Trashbox and he really uses that a lot. Yeah, I did it there, but it completely, it completely missed. Oh, that corner carry. That corner carry is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Pretty much go end to end. I don't know, he definitely is one of the characters that has the best corner carries. Why didn't I V-Trigger cancel? It doesn't matter, I won. Although if I did V-Trigger cancel, I could have avoided having to spend another bar. Doesn't matter. Always enjoy a command grab. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention this. Uh, 
I dropped in ranks quite a bit. So I've been working my way up again. The reason for said dropping, it was quite an unfortunate situation. I had the cold last week and last weekend. Damn. That makes me mad because I know I could have countered that. But uh, that was, I don't even know how I did that. I'm not even going to lie and say that wasn't accidental. It was, but it worked. Here I was getting a little bit scared. So anyways, me dropping back to... Well, I dropped back to almost silver, actually. Uh, here was the thing. I had the cold. I was feeling not too well. I decided to take some medicine, including NyQuil. Or like one of these... We don't have NyQuil here, but it's like one of those like sleep-aiding thing, you know? Like, help you sleep when you have a cold. I was like, fucked up. Like... Lean light, you know, that's like the, that's how I, I was feeling. I assume it was combined with the sickness as well. And yeah, so I was like out of it. And I was like, you know what? Let's jump online and play some Street Fighter V. And that shit just didn't work out. And I was being stubborn. I was being very stubborn. And I just kept playing. I was like, fuck, why am I, why am I getting my ass beat? It's like, what the hell is going on? And it turns out I was getting my ass beat because I was like, I probably had the reaction times of an idiot, you know. So that, that's my story of almost dropping back to silver. I've been working my way up. As you can see, now I have to fight this guy who, believe me, if this guy ever gets locked out of his account or like his password resets, he is going to be fucked. Like how the hell is gonna, he going to remember that? It's like a fucking Bitcoin account as his account name. Anyways, this guy was good. Uh, you fight a ton of Ryus. See, this is this is why I like V Trigger One. You can just go ham. Uh, I fight a ton of Ryus. Like Ryus are everywhere uh, in this game, especially at these ranks. And you actually very rarely find one that actually does something different. You know, rather than just jump in medium kick and spam that target combo. This guy actually did, he, he, he did quite well, I liked his Ryu, and well, you'll see, things don't exactly go my way. This first game is working out. Oh, that is so painful. Anyways, yeah, uh, that hurt. And V-Trigger V 1 Ryu is just so, so godlike now. Uh, I think that was very lucky. I think this character is very good now. Uh, just people don't use him at a high level. Maybe someone will. Anyways, I managed to squeeze out a victory there. Don't even ask me why I'm using this birdie outfit. This is like the bonkest birdie outfit out there. It looks like shit. This is the Halloween one. But I was using it. It's like whatever. Let's start off with the banana. That is... See, this is the thing. This is what he kept doing. And I realized that I was outsmarted a little bit because he got a lot of successful parries. Uh, but again, you know, I've always said this. If I get, like, genuinely outplayed, which happens, like, I have no problem with that. Like, losing is a part of this game. It's a part of the learning experience. Where I do get mad and I go LTG... Uh, is not that I, I don't quit, but you know, I get mad. Is when you lose because of some bullshit, specifically like the connection. Anyways, one of the things he did the best, this guy was really getting me with this, is mixing up the timings on his Denjin Hadoken. It's not something people do really in lower ranks, and he was really getting me with that. Uh, because he kept doing EX, charging, release immediately, so it was very hard to avoid. Nice uppercut. I had that coming. Uh, yeah, he mixed it up, and that was, like, good to see. But as you can see, like, just the way he's playing, he's doing... Man, that was bad. He's doing, like, different shit to what every other Ryu does. Oh, I cannot believe that missed. I was hopeful here. I was like, this is going to be hella good for the YouTube. The comeback. 
And of course, I got fucked up. Still, again, am I really mad about that? Not really. It's like, it's bound to happen. Obviously, I'm still I still wouldn't say I'm like even decent at this game. Well, no, I, I will give myself the decent status. But, you know, it's not exactly... I'm not exactly high tier. This is the path of my destiny. Yeah, we're letting all the intros rock in this episode. Anyways, final game against this guy. Uh, yeah, fuck. That's nice, that's a nice parry. Uh, somehow, whenever I try doing parries, not with birdie, but in general, they never work out. Nice jump in, uh, that was a badly spaced can. Wouldn't have worked anyways. Nice sweep. And this is the tough thing about Ryu. Yeah, you can like really get nice overhead. Really get messed up. That was a wash. I can't even say that wasn't a wash. I mean, it's birdie, man. Like, this is... It comes with the territory with this character. You have a shit ton of health. You have... Generally... See, he's getting all the punishes, too. You have generally good buttons and things like that. With absolutely shit defense. I mean, you have the armored bullhorn, the EX. But that's very, very risky. Why didn't I just go for the combo? See, that would have been... That should have been an anti-air. Command grab that. And command grab that. Command grab into command grab is like the ultimate... Ultimate mix-up, you know. One thing I do like about this costume, though, is that he pulls out a knife. A pocket knife. Instead of the regular comb. That is a nice detail. I mean, I don't. I won't say this costume is like badly designed. It's just like oh, the Perry. It's not badly designed. It's just kind of looks like shit. These thematic costumes are. That's always the problem with them. That they don't really fit out of season. Should have anti-aired. Just eat so much damage from missing one of those. He was pushing me. That was, I think that was an input error from what I remember. I was mad about that because I had aspirations of making a comeback. I shouldn't spoil the results of the game like this because I just pretty much gave it away. Nice sweep. And this is... This is difficult to deal with. Yeah. See, again, he's mixing up his timings. And... That was one of the things. That's why I said this is actually a pretty good tactic because I panicked there and I decided I was gonna jump, but it was way too late. It was way too late. And so GG's, GG's. Now of course we have everybody's favorite character, Ken. Man, Ken is a tasty character to fight online. Luckily this one wasn't wasn't the worst, but Specifically, remember, I made some stupid mistakes in this one. That's that's like the biggest stupid thing I've been doing, or I did during this match. This guy was like very bad at confirming the target combo. He didn't do it at all. And of course, it's a high. And I get like shitty ass punishes every single time. Uh, you can go into the crouching medium punch into bullhorn. Uh, every single time, basically. And I do it like almost none of the time. No, I, I do it none of the time. Yeah, that should be... Man, that makes me mad. That should be a punish every single time. And it's not. I panicked and just did like light punch or something. I did the sweep once, which is okay, but still. What can you do? Luckily, this can on like general can craziness uh he was extremely low he almost seemed like an actual can main rather than just like someone who wants to abuse their fucking mcdonald's wi-fi you know like the shit they like steal off of the internet cafe next door to them um this guy actually felt like someone who wants to play can which is a rare, rare mix. 
should have command grabbed. He would have been caught by that command grab. Uh, which is weird because, you know, like, you look online and so many cans uh, play the YOLO way as well, even in the higher ranks. I guess it just works, you know. Yeah, he messed up there. The EX Bullhorn. Uh, I keep... I'm probably confusing the two bull names. Bullhead is the charge one and Bullhorn is this one. Whatever. Bullhorn... Yeah, EX Bullhorn is safe. Uh, and he tried to counter. At least I, I'm like 90% sure it is safe. See, like, if I was playing a random YOLO can, they would have done the Tatsu and immediately just like mashed EXDP. And it probably would have worked. It probably would have worked. And I would have been tilted as hell. And that's how I lose. Luckily, those types of people... For some reason, they tend to stick to more the casual matches. Gotta say, that wasn't the worst uh, command grab ever in my life. I'll give myself credit for that one. Why am I still using the, this? Do I keep using this costume? I think I switch it. Uh, fuck, messed it up. Should have gone for a combo. But again, like, I can respect this guy. Uh, again, it very much seems like he actually wants to learn this character. It's just... I have a lot of practice against this character. Ken is like pretty much, after Ryu, my most labbed matchup. Not most labbed, but like most experienced with. Oh, that's... I could have gotten... I could have gotten him so many times at this point. Yeah, just light jab. It works. It works. Scratch that ass, birdie. Anyways, now we move on to... Mr. Seth. Or Miss Seth. Seth. Just Seth. And this character is very popular. Uh, it seems like... Well, he is good. It's just one of the things. He is just straight up good. Very powerful. And not even this guy, but... I fight another Seth in this video, uh, who is like way more abusive of... That banana makes a hilarious sound, I just noticed. Uh, he is even more abusive of like the tools Seth has. And you'll see that I have a... Initially I have a hard time dealing with... Whoa! That's really weird. I never even noticed that there is a skip there. Huh. It must have been like the recording, because... That's really strange, I'm just noticing that now in post. Because here's the thing, uh, if you don't know how I do... Oh, that was so bad. This match was very laggy, uh, but how I do these games, or how I record them, is through the replay feature. And I think, like, big lag spikes sometimes cause that. I didn't notice because usually what I do is, because they take kind of long to record, you know. I don't want to just sit there and rewatch my matches, because I do that here. Is that I usually just you know, start the recording and like throw a YouTube video on and I just go up and go through the menus once it's done recording. So yeah, that's why I didn't notice that. Anyways, you pretty much pretty much have a clear idea of what's going on here. Uh, yeah, back to Seth itself. Seth is very, very popular. Uh, people like to like gravitate towards this character. Uh, he is very strong. But the main thing is that he feels abusive. Like it feels like you're gonna really abuse his tools or th their tools. It is there. I think officially, Seth is referred to as they to avoid any confusion. I don't remember what happens here. Genuinely. Oh yeah, of course. Command grab. Oh yeah. Listen, you gotta give it to me with that shimmy. That was a pretty godlike shimmy. You gotta give it up. This has a unique outro music this stage. Sounded like it. Anyways, this guy again. The connection didn't actually feel bad enough that I would one and done him. 
So yeah, I think that's safe. Or one of one of the versions of that move is safe. Hecatonk here, I think it's called. But yeah, Seth is just safe on a lot of stuff. Even plus. Double sweep is the ultimate tactic. That didn't work either time. That meaties too. I did not know that. Gotta go for that command grab. You know, the only thing I think that... The one single thing that's keeping Seth... Uh... Well, I shouldn't even say... I was gonna say the thing that keeps Seth off of the top tier list is the health. He has very low health. But then I thought that Akuma was top tier for an insane amount of time. And Akuma also has low health. I think this is a top tier character from what it looks like. Actually, both of the new characters released so far, which... I don't know if these guys are the last DLC characters, they could be. But both Gil and Seth feel pretty good. I think Seth definitely is stronger. I think Gil is like a solid B. I mean, he, he, is, he is okay. But I think Seth definitely is the reigning champion now. And you can definitely feel it online. This guy, I don't know what the hell he's doing there. That's a good activate. Why did I do a can there? But it worked. Is there nothing you can do about that? Not much. You just gotta be careful. Yeah, he, he wasn't falling for that. I don't know why, but I have a really bad habit of not doing the low chain. Which, the low chain is actually safe. And for some reason, again, it's like a really bad habit. It's like not using bullhead at the end of combos. Uh, it worked there, though. And luckily, low health. Just gotta, gotta go for them light kicks. It'll work, believe me. He couldn't even do mad cradle there. So yeah. Uh, what was I saying? That was a terrible punish. That was a terrible punish from him as well. But yeah, that's my like view on Seth. Good character. Very well designed as well. I think generally from what I've heard and seen, Seth was one of the more hated characters in Ultra Street Fighter 4. Uh, I don't know why. I think he was like really strong, really annoying to fight and all that. Just people, I distinctly remember like everybody hating Seth. Even now when this new Seth was brought up, people were pissed. Uh, but I think with how well this character is designed and how well they animate and how well their gameplay works, I think people have changed their tune. I don't know why he didn't end his combo. Oh well. Because for me, I got W off of that. Yeah. That does have a unique outro sound, this stage. That's pretty cool. And of course, for the final event of the night, we have another set. With the base costume and base color, which I can I can kinda I can kinda respect that, not gonna lie. So this guy this guy, first of all, fucked the stage. Uh, second of all, this guy was way more annoying with how like he abused Seth's tools. See, he was he kept just doing safe. That was unsafe though. Uh, he but he does a lot of safe stuff, which was difficult to difficult to deal with, uh, like that type of stuff. It's minus eight that move, but there's no way you're gonna punish that. Nice uppercut. I knew this guy was gonna be good at uppercutting me. I just had a feeling. This guy was actually very good. I liked fighting against him. You see, he's doing the heavy one, which is... It's difficult to counter. You're meant to poke in between because it's plus two. So you can mix it up. That's like one of the... Yeah. That is a badass super. What does it say? Error level has exceeded the threshold? The fact that that didn't work 
is so annoying. Uh, but whatever. He took the W even though he didn't finish his uh, combo. But that's all good. Got the banana out. Banana is like the neutral killer. Of course, the thing about this character, you'll see it here. Uh, one of the reasons Seth is very good. Uh, any character in general that can change their jump arc is very good. And Seth is like a prime example. The dive kick or axe kick or whatever is so annoying to deal with. You know, for a character that relies on having a good anti-air like Birdie. This is one of the few people that I actually use uh, V Trigger 2 with Seth. I mean, V Skill 2 with Seth. You don't see that too often. People want the steal, but I overall think this one might be better. Uh, the move still might be good for like very specific matchups where the move you get is like godlike. For example, uh, I think the move, because from Birdie. Instead just gets bull head uh, or bull horn, sorry, never gonna get that right, which is kind of unimpressive, you just kind of get some damage, but from some characters he gets very good moves, but I think that's really gonna be the determinant of uh, which one you pick. Overall, again, as a whole package, V skill 2 is better. Yeah, that's fucked up. Finally, I did it there. That's what I meant to. That's what I gotta get into the habit of doing. That combo. It's pressure. Pressure for days. I don't know what the hell that was. I should have just done medium punch and go into a combo. Oh well. Gotta get the sweep. I love how he says useless every single time. I can respect it. Oh, it's so difficult. See, this is what I said when this guy was way better at abusing the tools of this character, and I could have gotten punished super hard for that. But I did not. But I did not. I like this. This is a, like a classic Street Fighter V match. It's very slow paced. It's how I tried to play. Uh, oh, missed command grab. And. From that, yeah, he went into the the good old super, which this is the super that does more damage. But Birdie has godlike HP. Believe me, I was nervous here. The boy was the boy was concerned. How did that not kill me? I don't know. And that was. A stupidest way I could have ended it. I could have gone straight into a combo and got a clean win. But whatever. The W is the W, isn't it? It's really... In the end, as Linkin Park said, in the end it doesn't even matter, does it? Yeah. Game 2 against this set. I don't know what happened. Either I like ascended or something or he got way worse but this game went so much better just hitting him over the head command grab overhead you know classic birdie classic birdie and i got the crush yeah with that as we are well i'm spoiling things again but we are coming up to the final round. I am going to go ahead and slowly start wrapping up the episode here. Uh, pretty good, pretty good series of games, I would say. I'm ascending up the ranks. Uh, I'm doing okay with uh, in Ultra Silver as well. Gold really is the gold standard here. It's where I really want to get to. But yeah, this series will continue because you guys seem to like it. I enjoy making it, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we do next time. So as we come to the end here, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Street Fighter V Ranked, episode 4. Yeah, if you did, you know, like, subscribe, do all that good shit. And yeah, that was a mistake from him. Anyways, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching and peace out. Goodbye.